A real classic car is prerequisite for being able to drive here at the Arabella Classics. The BMW Velt in Munich, around 80 participants and their vehicles meet, delivery by air-conditioned trailer or even by their own steam. Initial expert discussions amongst the rally drivers, a good preparation and a perfectly groomed old timer are half the battle for successful participation at a classic car rally. Motivision is at the start with its own team in a very rare BMW 502 convertible. In the cockpit, driver Peter Reichel and the winner of the Motivision contest, Frank Klenner. If the weather holds, the two rally drivers want to enjoy the tour open air. Here's the key. I wish you a nice drive. Thank you. First a test drive because the steering wheel gear change of the BMW Cabrio takes some time to get used to. First, second, third, and fourth. But there's already a problem in the first few meters. Second gear jumps out. But it is super to drive. The excitement increases for co-pilot Frank Klenner, the winner of the Motivision sweepstakes. I'm really happy because I've always wanted to do this, but I did not know that my task would develop into work. We'll see how that works. But with Peter, I have a good driver. <laughs> so when uh, Peter understands the car, they need to get used to each other first, but that will be all right. But the transmission still jumps. The Motivision team definitely cannot drive with defective gears. Good. The mechanics of BMW Classics are stumped at the moment. BMW is newly prepared and should work without any problems. Four-door convertible disappears back into the workshop. The start in the morning in the Arabella Classics, unsure. The next morning, Munich's BMW Welt is full of the participants for the vintage car rally and their four-wheel treasures. The oldest vehicles are from the 30s. Joining in are several celebrities like Eva Lind, opera singer or actor Wolfgang Feierich with a Bentley, provided by the organizer. Maybe a Cadillac or a Corvette would fit much better to the Bavarian Harley fan. A Bentley or Rolls Royce has always been a big dream of mine. I have left American cars standing over there. I've already thought about bringing a really nice hot rod here next year, but this here is not too bad, right? <laughs> Ferrick starts in a 1964 Bentley S3. There can't be a more comfortable way to take part in an old-timer rally. Punctually at 9 o'clock, the participants go to the track of the two-day event. Every 30 seconds, an oldie sets up, exactly protocoled in the road book. And also, Team Motivision is ready. The BMW is fit again. We have extended the threaded rod slightly longer because the gears are not properly engaging. This rod was extended. Now it works again. The driver has done another test round and is convinced. 
and the crew of the BMW car, which is running for the first time, has obviously prepared well. Tension is rising. We expect that we can cope well with the stages and are very confident. But it's not only about mastering the track. The teams also face additional tasks, almost a scavenger hunt with vintage cars. The oldest vehicle of the Arabella Classics, with the youngest passenger on board, goes to the start. A 1930 Bentley Blower racing car. The Arabella Classics is a two-day vintage car rally with a distance of about 500 kilometers. From Munich, it goes through various stages to the Austrian Fuchsel am See. With Arabella Classics, cars build up to 1977, and in some cases, younger ones are allowed to participate. The rarer and older he is, the better the chances for a start permission. The first 150 kilometers are completed. Stop over in Kufstein and Tyrol the oldest park in the old town and fit in well with the ancient backdrop, an eye-catcher for the locals and tourists. Peter Eichel and Frank Klenner are suited to each other. Harmony in team motor vision. A great experience. The weather was perfect. The car has been running very well so far. Hopefully that will continue. The BMW Classic Supplied 502 convertible is a very rare specimen from its species. Originally, the model was developed only as a sedan and one of the most luxurious BMWs after the war. Car body companies such as Bauer built two and four-door convertibles in small numbers. Up to 145,000 euros can be paid for in the vernacular Barrack Angel Convertible. Due to their rarity, the four-door convertibles are amongst the most expensive post-war BMWs. High speed doesn't count as one of the challenges with the Arabella Classics, but the team must take stages with an exact average speed, and one or other search tasks on the route as well calls for the attention of the crew. And one or the other search tasks along the route as well calls for the attention of the crew. Despite this, actor Wolfgang Fierig still accelerates in the Bentley S3. The oldest fan enjoys the power of the noble Brit. This thing really marches forward and has excellent road handling. It really sticks to the road. I'm really pleasantly surprised. My dream has always been a Rolls Royce like from John Lennon, but I could really get to like this Bentley. The goal of day one, the Schloss Fuchsel am See in Austrian Salzkammergut. The hotel also serves as an exclusive accommodation for the rally participants. It was a very dignified drive. We had to catch up a little bit of time in the end. It became tight. We only had one minute, otherwise we would have been over the allotted time. So in the final kilometers, we gave it gas again. It was a pleasant day. We drove with the top down, the weather held. We were hoping that it didn't start raining in the last few meters. 
But we agreed that if it started to rain, we would continue to drive open. The most difficult thing is to find what one is actually looking for. At this rally, there are lots of things hidden, and I fear that we would uh, not often discover because we enjoyed the ride too, and uh, we begin to concentrate. We saw lots of things, but not what we were looking for. And this is the fear that we have at the moment. The participants have a lot to talk about after the first day. All have arrived. Almost all. Yeah, but super. The atmosphere is fantastic. You can see here on the top with the fire brigade, we had two defects. One always happens every year. We know that and we take it all in our stride. Secondly is the Bentley Boa, which is a pity, but we also have a replacement car. Rested. The next morning, it's back on to the tour. Also participating on day two, the ski legends, Rosi Mittermeier and Christian Neureuther. The two starred in a 1973, 180 horsepower, three liter BMW Coupe. The man is driving. I'm also used to that as normal. There's no discussion. It's a biological principle. Since God made a provision that this is a male domain, but the co-driver also has her function, and she comes back with confidence from this rally. And naturally, slalom specialist Neureuther with the BMW Coupe puts in a skillful turn. On the second day, the route takes the participants to the Austrian-German border. The goal is, as on the first day, Schloss Fuchselamsee, car hiking on glorious side roads. However, navigation according to the road book can quickly take one or the other participant off track. It even happens to the couple, Ferrick, at the end of the rally. Just a bit. She's always done this. Finally, like all the other participants, the actor still arrives in time at the finish, at the Schloss Fuchsel am See. We first fret because my wife is just as competitive, but that would never come to the point where we would argue seriously. Sometimes I'm getting crazy if she says, hey baby, you said 0.3 kilometers, but it is 0.83 kilometers. We drove wrong really bad a few times. But then we had to laugh, really, because that's just funny. But that's just no real reason to argue. The team Motivision drives the BMW 502 convertible to the finish, without any defects. In the ranking, we lost our way once. Otherwise, we improved on the drive today. We found lots of letters, more than we asked for. Now let's see what the score results are tonight. Yesterday, we were in 38th place. I, I believe that we're in 30th, and that was our goal, to get in the first third. Ultimately, it's enough for Team Motivision to achieve 44th place in the middle of the field. Still, not bad for a first attempt.